This is my comment of the day to piss as many people off as I can. You see this little girl in that picture? I don't care what color you are, but all of you racist black people who continuously get mad at me because I'm talking about the vast majority of murders taking place in this country. All of you that get mad at me, you call this little girl your people? That's not your people. That's not your people. You are bundled up in a racist knot. And you truly believe your people can only be your people if they physically look like you. That's not how the world works, son. This little girl, that's my people. She ain't the one killing people. She's not slinging dope. She's not doing illegal activities. She wants to live. She would really like to see her next birthday. She is an innocent person. That's my people. That's my people. So all of you racists out there who want to say that this is your people, that's not your people. That is not your people, racist. That's my people. And I will speak about my people anytime I want to speak about my people. That's my people right there. And y'all are killing my people. These people don't want to die. These people don't want beef with you. They don't want a conflict with you. They want to blow out birthday candles on a frickin' birthday cake. That's my people right there. And you people keep sitting back and claiming these people as your people and do nothing about it. What am I doing about it? I'm speaking out about it. I'm drawing awareness to this problem. This is a horrible cancer that is happening in your backyards and none of you do anything about it because you know nobody else cares about gangsters killing gangsters. Look, if you people want to kill each other all day long, that's fine. But like I've said before, I can guarantee you there's somebody that got caught up in the wrong crowd that just because of peer pressure rode along on one of these drive-by shootings and probably got shot and killed. That could have been the next great engineer. They could have been the next doctor, brain surgeon, back surgeon. They could have been the next inventor that invented something cool. I'm talking about black youth in your neighborhoods. Those are the people I'm talking about. You glorify all this crap about guns, Glock switches, shooting guns sideways, hanging your pants down to your knees. You glorify all that crap, and that's fine if you want to glorify some of it. I don't care how you wear your pants, but you glorify the guns in your music and culture and every other way of life, and you act like it's okay. Let us manage our people. You ain't doing a good job. Your people are killing themselves. They're killing each other, and again, you are keeping the next brain surgeon from going to college and becoming the next great brain surgeon, the next great artist, the next great guitar player, the next great drummer, the next great school teacher that inspires a bunch of thousands of children. They're ending their lives because you do nothing. You sit back with your arms folded and act like, this is my problem, this is our people. We got our problem under control. No, you don't. Fix it. Oh, we need to start fixing it for you. And let me say this one last time. I say this every now and then in my videos, but I got to make this clear at the end of this video. All these wannabe gangbangers out there, you notice where they're not gangbanging? You notice how it's easy to drive by in these areas that have these huge number of gun laws. Chicago, overwhelmed with gun laws. All these little candy ass wannabe gangbangers flexing in the inner cities, thinking you bad. I notice you don't go into areas where you know people are gonna shoot back at you and you know they're gonna shoot better than you. You sit there and shoot randomly at wide open spaces. You rarely hit what you're trying to hit. You hit innocent people and you talk tough all in your little neighborhoods. Nobody is intimidated by you bunch of little punk ass bitches.